India's healthcare market is undergoing a transformation with economic growth of more than 7%. Driving this demand, the industry is expected to triple in size to $280 billion by 2020. However, the Indian healthcare system currently lacks sufficient infrastructure to meet the healthcare demands of the country. This leads to supply demand imbalance and making healthcare less affordable and accessible for all. India, at the same time, is also one of the fastest technology adopters globally. The country's healthcare system is being reshaped by three forces increasing healthcare demand, technological ubiquity, and rising patient awareness. The healthcare sector could be revolutionized by new technology and digital entrants in health startups that will fill the void with their own offerings. Digital health startups and technology incumbents are already using the engineering skills and data analytics expertise to create new products and services that satisfy the demands of consumers, physicians and payers. And need of the R is finding the brightest of the ideas and supporting them to grow. Fortis Healthcare has come forward to offer a helping hand with its initiative, Superstarters Inc., a startup challenge that will act as a launchpad for new, previously untested and unimplemented healthcare ideas for the country. The initiative will provide a platform to young entrepreneurs where they have seamless access to clinicians, patients, data and infrastructure and hospital ecosystem. This would help them build the products keeping in mind the real-time outcomes. So let's visit Superstars Inc. and unveil some amazing healthcare wonders that await India in 2019. Welcome to the third and final episode of a brand new show, Fortis Presents Superstarters Inc., a show that talks about different startups initiated by youngsters for the healthcare segment. We welcome a very important guest of the show, Dr. Ritu Garg, Zonal Director, FMRI, who is the source of motivation behind this whole concept. Welcome to our show, Dr. Ritu. Thank you. Thank you so much. Since you are the brainchild behind this entire initiative, what motivated you to take it to this level? I have been involved with multiple startups in different capacities, you know, for the last few years. So some have been friends. And many of them actually approach us uh, at the start of the idea, you know, asking for mentorship, uh, wanting to come and work with us, looking for opportunities to understand, validate the idea. But we really did not have any structured mechanism to do it. So what would happen is that we would be busy in you know our day-to-day -day operations and we really never had a platform to give them uh, time to nurture those ideas and that's when it struck us that you know why don't we create a platform where the industry the healthcare industry and you know Fortis being one of the large health providers gives them a platform to come and present their ideas and also get some investors on board and what if three were working together I think it could be a great win-win situation where as a healthcare provider, we get to see innovation. We get to look at these you know, young, bright people who have so many ideas, who are working on different concepts all across in, in you know, probably different rooms uh, outside um, of the healthcare space, but the action is here because patients are here, clinicians are here. So, you, so they need to test out their ideas. And that's where this idea actually came from. Um, and I think uh, it was an overwhelming response uh, you know, when we floated the idea. I think within a couple of days, we were flooded with lots of entries actually. Um, and we really had to extend the deadline uh, because we needed time to go through all the entries, shortlist them. So I think it's the confidence as soon as we even floated the idea, which uh, gave us the confidence to go ahead. Since it's a new concept with new generation coming up with new ideas, how do you feel it is going to help us in the healthcare segment and where do you see it in the coming years? You know, the way the thing is, uh, the way the world is changing, the economy is changing, um, it, it is at mind-boggling space. Uh, you just realize what you were uh, five years ago in, in let's say, uh, a transport or, a, you know, where before cabs were there or before swiggies of the world were there. Similar thing is going to happen in healthcare as well. Um, and while we are very good at running the operations today, uh, you know, we, I, I cannot say that the healthcare providers are really uh, looking or working deeply on innovation. Uh, whereas these are the people who are uh, on it uh, all the time. Um, and they have access and intuition and awareness about what is happening in other industries, which can, they can bring and translate to healthcare. 
Um, so I think that the ideas that we heard today um, in this challenge uh, were amazing. Um, and you know, it could be one of the unicorns. And, and when we started, what we thought was that, you know, probably one of them will be the future Bill Gates of healthcare. We do not know. And I feel that uh, that's how uh, this challenge will uh, evolve over years. Uh, we plan to do it as an annual event. This is just a start this year. Um, and going by the response, we would love to nurture a few startups every year and do the hand-holding for them, mentor them, give access to our clinicians, data, ecosystem, infrastructure, um, so that they can beg their ideas. And I'm sure some of them will be big, big winners over time. So Dr. Ritu, what kind of uh, ideas actually approached you? They were very varied, um, you know, so right from drones that can be used in healthcare delivery to healthcare ATMs to very low cost devices, which is need of the hour. And, and we were amazed to have some bright scientists, you know, coming in who are doing their PhDs and research labs in IITs of the world, uh, come and present the innovation that they're doing. Um, and it also extended to the ambulance fleet, uh, to the digital ecosystem, work places so it was quite varied so what we saw was a different kind of an innovation and application of what's going on in healthcare you are the one behind this initiative any interesting experience that you would like to share with us i think uh, it is the excitement that was very exciting for me as well uh, because you know uh, so you know when we delayed our announcement of the finalist you know um, you could really feel the uh, the nervousness among participants they wanted to know when are we you know announcing the results who are coming you know when I mean are we getting selected uh, I've actually got um, you know few mails uh, you know saying that you know we're a little disappointed but we're also putting together a program for those people because you know um, it's very difficult for us to judge also it's not an easy call um, selecting these three out of ten or actually ten out of fifty um, is you know I mean we do it in like few minutes uh, but there could be so much more behind it um, and based on some of those emails you know uh, of people who really not made it to the first three uh, we are now going to reach out to you seeing the passion and enthusiasm that they came back to us with that you know there's no reason why uh, and they want more chances so we'll figure out you know how do we reach out back uh, to them as well we have with us our second runner up mr hari prasad he's from aculi labs and he has come up with the product lifeus let us talk about uh, to him about this product essentially diabetes being one of the uh, major challenge all over the world and india being a diabetic capital Usually, till now, the scenario is such that uh, the blood sugar level or the HbA1c with the average uh, glucose is being tracked and the patient who is undergoing that and they are chronic, they develop uh, various different uh, issues and it has to manifest for them to report to the clinician and the prognosis happens. So it's always an after kind of an effort. So here we are with uh, Lifeus solution which is the, uh, the brain behind the whole initiative, Rupam Das, our uh, founder, CEO and CTO and along with uh, Momita Das who runs the operation. So it's the brainchild of them, so where we've got this product. Uh, essentially the idea here is to see what is the scalable way where the screening could happen, not just on the uh, diabetes or the uh, glucose monitoring, but beyond that if we could do the diabetes induced risks. So essentially there is this particular thing called cardiac autonomic neuropathy. It leads to various different mortality risks in terms of cardiovascular issues, in terms of uh, uh, nerves getting weakened and so on and so forth and that becomes life threatening. Even before the clinical manifestation of these issues, it, it goes undetected and that's a huge challenge. So here our life is solution, it's a mobile based non-invasive uh, diabetic screening solution wherein not just uh, the glucose aspect, it covers the body system wide uh, vitals by doing a simple set of maneuvering tests and based on a well-known proven science, we come up with the instant results. The classic USP of the product itself is currently it can work just out of a mobile phone. So it's a rapidly scalable solution. And number two, it works even without internet. The complete anal analysis uh, engine is put on the app itself so that even without the internet, the results come in. and. Whenever the internet comes, it's pushed to the cloud. Imagine a public health scenario and a public health care worker. The huge challenge which they face at the last mile is that there is not much of an infrastructure which is available there with the existing phone. So anyone who can do WhatsApp can run a life test. The methodology of taking tests is as simple, but there's a whole bunch of uh, medical science which has gone inside and an algorithm which has been uh, done over the years effort 
of Rupam and Mamita, we have got this product. So, Mr. Hari Prasad, uh, if I may ask you, how do you see uh, this entire concept in the next coming years? What shape it will take up in the next few years? Having the application launched on the ground standpoint, our current focus area is with the clinicians. So, it's an administered test as of now. So, as days pass by, it would get on to the allied sectors where it can make a huge difference when I say so, uh, with respect to the pharma, with respect to life insurance. Uh, those are the sectors where the similar sol the same solution which would develop uh, you know serving their particular uh, health risk assessment needs and there will be a point where it gets to the individual diabetic patients for their ongoing tracking so that becomes a completely seamless uh, kind of an operation so one need not wait till the clinical uh, issue manifests and the risk happens and then one can cut down the mortality rates in a significant way that's the vision which we see for the company the super startups have given a, a great platform to the young innovators to come up with their ideas how was your experience with them? Uh, certainly, way back in uh, December, when, when even before they officially launched, sort of, you know, uh, I could see a couple of LinkedIn uh, uh, posts of Dr. Ritukar and sort of reached out, and from there on, then it became officially posted on the Facebook. So from then on, it was a very engaging uh, experience with them. And uh, as all of us who have participated, the feeling is usually startups have a larger challenge to reach out to healthcare groups until we get to a certain point, maybe three, five years down the line. But right at a very early uh, stage, if, if and seeing the potential of the applications out of so many who have applied to it, you know, they have shortlisted us. And today we had a very good engaging uh, uh, panel disc, uh, where we presented it. And quite a few uh, stalwarts of the industry, not just in the hospital sector, even across uh, the medical devices ecosystem, across the investor sector, so on and so forth, everyone is present. So it's, a, it's definitely a huge high and a thumbs up from a, uh, because med tech and health tech is the least uh, in our understanding, in our experience, it, it doesn't get the limelight that it deserves to get because everywhere, everywhere else, every other uh, work is more from a convenience standpoint and solving a certain need. But here we are talking about life changing and, and uh, bringing down the mortality risks and so on and so forth. So this does deserve a larger, uh, what you call spotlight and enablement, more than the spotlight, the enablement, which eventually it serves a larger good for the community. So it's been fascinating, you know, working with Fortis and look forward to associate with them and continue the journey.